And the Lord spoke to Adam, saying, I shall make you master of all that walks on land or swims in the sea. But he never said anything about what crawls. Who are you talking to, Daddy? Oh, no one. Eat your lentils for Daddy. You kill a ladybug, that's bad luck. Or the ladybug. What's that noise? Sounds like they're blowing stumps over at Hinchman's Gorge. It's getting closer. This is the place, I'm sure of it. Yes. The man and his daughter were definitely here. Oh, thank God they're safe now. Wait a minute. Take a look at this. Some sort of footprint or track. Mm, mountain lion? Not likely. What could it be? <laughs> Only one thing. Who are you? Professor Roman Harkati, Department of Agriculture. This is my daughter, Butler. Hello. <laughs> as brilliant as she is beautiful. <laughs> this track was clearly made by Cochamaria Novidicae. Speak English, man. What did you say made that track? I could tell you, but you wouldn't be happy. Then make me unhappy. Only one thing in God's creation leaves a track like that. The ladybug. But in this case, one of horrifying proportions. My God. Good Lord. Sweet Jesus. The ladybug, also known as ladybird or lady beetle. There are more than 3,000 species of ladybug, though all have red chitinous shells and red and brown spots. It's one of the most beneficial of insects. Hot damn. Holy cow. Hell's a poppin'. The tracks lead off that way. Mm. Huh. And that's what can happen if this giant insect becomes enraged. Professor, what are the chances of this giant insect becoming enraged? Not very good. My beautiful daughter can explain. Butler? As you can see, this is where the ladybug was first spotted. <laughs> what a beautiful brain. When it was first seen, it was in this locale. It has remained there. Over the past several days, we've noticed no movement towards the valley. When faced with the prospect of ravaging our crops, it demonstrated indifference. Question. Has it hovered menacingly over the stadium? No. Nor has it terrorized our schoolyards, marauded down Main Street, or moved in any way that would indicate anything other than complete indifference. The question is not whether it's dangerous, but how to destroy it! Are we gods? Have we the right to destroy what nature hath wrought? You better believe it. What is it now, Tereen? Well, let's recap. Seems we've got a 60-foot ladybug squatting out in the field. No threat of movement. I say I'm your man to destroy it. But it's immobile. That's a chance I'm willing to take. All right, who's with me? Tereen! Tereen! And that's what could happen if this monstrous insect unleashed its fury. Professor, what are the chances of this monstrous insect unleashing its fury? Trust me, that's not going to happen. It's a ladybug. I say we distract it and then go in for your kill. Tureen, where's the army? Army? Well, when they heard it was a 60-foot insect, they were excited. But then when they found out it was just a big old ladybug, well, that interest sort of waned a bit. But I do have another idea. Yes? Bring in the speakers! All right. Everybody! Ladybug, ladybug, fly away home. Your house is on fire. Your children will burn. Hold it, boy.
Nothing changed in mankind that day. No innocence was lost. No lives were saved. But still we have to wonder, what if? <laughs>